Hi guys, it's Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a really gentle stretch for your neck to help release and relieve any neck tension that you might have. This is a routine that I've currently been doing for a few days because your girl had a blissful 10 hours sleep. It was amazing, but then woke up, you know, with that stiff neck that just cannot turn from right to left and trouble getting out of bed to start with. So this is a perfect routine for you. If you're feeling the same, I'm gonna take good care of you. So we've got two goals today, which is one, increase the range of motion, and two, decrease pain. We know that the neck moves in three planes of motion, which is rotation left to right, down and up, and then side to side with that ear to shoulder. After we do those stretches, I just wanna say we're gonna do a bit of mobility for the shoulder and the thoracic spine because it's all interconnected and it'll help release off those muscles that might be contributing to your neck pain. Okay, so we're gonna start off by lying down on your back. So just carefully get yourself there, gently rolling down, and you can assist with those hands behind your head if you're feeling particularly vulnerable today in the neck. So just relaxing that head down onto the floor, arms down by your side, and just walk your feet in so they're hip distance apart and flat feet. Good, for our chin tucks here, we're going to imagine that we are lengthening through the back of your neck. So growing taller out through the crown of your head. So from here, we're going to tuck your chin down towards the floor and giving yourself the biggest double chin you can possibly make. So let's go ahead and exhale. Draw your chin down towards the floor. Feeling a really gentle length and stretch towards the upper neck here. So really in that base of your skull. Hold it there for five seconds and then release. We're doing this a couple of times here. So exhale, draw the chin in towards the floor, trying to flatten the natural curvature of your neck, lengthening it as much as possible. And then release that stretch off. Good, it looks like a really subtle movement, but if you think about going straight down, the natural curve of your neck will really flatten towards the mat. So we've got a couple more here. Exhale. Good, the biggest double chin you can get. The bigger, the better. <laughs> and release. Good, two more. Exhale. Releasing. And our last one here, can we stretch it out a little bit more? Just nice and gently though, pushing that chin down, reaching out through the base of your head. And relax. Well done guys. Let's carefully come back up and come to a nice seated position where you're nice and comfortable. Maybe grab a pillow if you want as well. So from here, I'm going to take you through the motion side to side. That's our ear towards our shoulder. Let's bring the hands in line with your hips here just to really set the scapulas down and back so we get a better range. And from here, we're just going to tilt slightly over to the left side, trying to get the left ear towards the shoulder. So not bringing the ear towards the shoulder, let's keep it down as much as possible. I'm just gonna be really kind and gentle on this stretch. You'll feel this stretch from your ear and then towards the base of your shoulder here. Inhaling and exhaling in your own time here. Just be really gentle. If you'd like to increase the stretch a little, you can step onto your hands. Sitting on them will just really guide those shoulder blades down a little further. We've got another 10 seconds here, breathing in. And exhaling, lowering that ear down a little bit more if you've got that range. Good, last three two and one come back up through to center nice and slowly great from here we'll take the other tilt so right ear to right shoulder Whew, feeling that one on my body just take it nice and easy feeling of course that stretch down that left side this time towards your shoulder good just melting that tension close down your eyes Good, we have 10 more seconds. Are those shoulder blades still sliding down towards your hips. 
we have three, two, and one, coming slowly back up towards center. Really good job so far, guys. Now we'll do our rotation plane of motion. So you can keep the arms down by your side, a little bit away from your body this time if you can, and we'll gently rotate your head towards the left side. So looking over your left shoulder, Again, just breathing in and out nice and naturally. Sitting really tall on the base of your sit bones here and think about lengthening out through the crown of your head and just being so kind to your neck. See if you can just gently rotate it a little further. Nice, we're going for another 10 seconds. Keep holding. Keep trying to twist it around a little bit more. Your brain is trying to trick you and tell you you've got pain, but if you can try and switch off that pain signal and gently releasing, just take it easy. And then come back to center when you're ready. And straight away to the other side, rotating over that right shoulder. Again, make sure you are sitting up nice and tall. Good guys, 10 more seconds. Doing really well. Reset those shoulders if you've kind of crept the shoulders forward. We have three, two, and one. Gently come back down to center. All right, big little shoulder rolls here. Nice and gentle though. Perfect, if you have the range and the pain's not too much today, try and bring your hands towards your shoulders and just roll it out. Make them small and keep the elbows down low so we don't over recruit through those upper traps here. And we'll just go the other way. Beautiful. Let's go into our range of motion, forwards and backwards. So we're just going to tilt that chin towards your chest here, nice and gently, if that feels comfortable. If any of this is not feeling comfortable, you're going to do the stretch that does feel like it's the most effective and more comfortable for you. That's it, and then come back through to neutral, to center. And then if you can, tilting that chin up just slowly and gently. It doesn't have to be high, we don't have to go into huge hyperextension. Just getting a little bit of motion and we nod that chin down one more time. And then tilting that head back. All right, from here, we're gonna lay back down onto our backs once again, and we'll move into our mobility through our shoulders from here. So rolling down, walking those feet nice and flat. We'll take the arms up towards the sky this time. Now, I want you to imagine you were holding on to a really cute helium balloon. So the helium balloon here is going to float gently up towards the sky in your hands. So pull those arms further up towards the ceiling lifting slightly off the floor with your shoulder blades. And then you're going to pull that helium balloon back down towards your chest, keeping your arms straight and pinning those shoulders down towards the floor. So this is our retraction of our shoulder blades. And then as we guide those hands up towards the ceiling, this is our protraction. So our shoulder blades are pulling apart in this position right here. And then pull that balloon back down. Good. So you should be able to feel like your shoulder blades are nice and flat on the floor here. And your arm bones are just sinking in towards your arm socket. And let's take it up one more time here. Reach, 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 reach. And exhale. Good. That was our slow tempo. Now we're just going a little bit quicker if you can. Reach it up and then pull those arms down. Reach up and glide it down. If you bring your hands further down away from your head here, that also might help take off any tension through your neck. 
You just want to avoid hitching your shoulders up. So bringing the hands slightly forward might be more suitable for you. We have another five, four, three, two. Glide those arm bones back into the socket on one. So we're in a neutral position. We're not pulling down and retracting too much, just in between those two extremes. And then we'll go into our scissors. So we're going to take right hand back and sweep the left hand towards your hip. And then on your exhale, we change, gliding the hands up and down. Good, so staying nice and wide through those collarbones here. Keep your rib cage sunken down towards your mat. And we're just scissoring out those arms slowly here. This is just getting mobility through your shoulders and you might feel a little bit of a stretch, particularly if you're tight through those pecs here. Great, can you go in here? Good guys, we've got another 15 seconds. So five. Four, three, two, and one. Bringing both hands down towards your mat here now, ready for our bridges. So we're just gonna take this one nice and easy. We're going to mobilize through our entire spine from here. So relax those arms down. You're tilting that pelvis towards your face, printing each vertebrae in towards your mat and gently peeling up from your lower back to your middle and then lifting up so you're balancing just on those shoulders here. Good, again, stay nice and down with those shoulders, open through those collarbones once again, squeezing from those glutes. And then we release and reverse that peel down. So sinking through your sternum first, then your middle back, then that lower back comes to the floor, and then eventually that tailbone comes down. So this one feels really nice because sometimes we just start to jam up further down the chain when our neck is sore and our rest of our spine kind of just takes over and tries to help us out. So this one feels quite delicious, doesn't it? If you're feeling like it's too much pressure on your neck coming into that high bridge, of course just come up about halfway and just focus on mobilizing through that mid to lower spine here. Good, but if you're okay, we're just going to really enjoy each articulation segmentally, lifting up one at a time. Fantastic. A few more here to go. I want you to lengthen out through that tailbone to try and grow longer through your entire spine. And then as you lie down, reach, 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 reach through that tailbone to really, again, elongate the spine. Good, we're gonna go for another three full rounds here. So rolling up three more times. Keeping everything really relaxed through your upper body and neck. Good, two more to go. Slowly rolling down and let's go in for our very last one here. Can we grow a little taller through that spine so reach out through that tailbone. Good, soften that sternum first. Now really pay attention. Can we print each spine onto your mat, one after another? Take it really slow, nice and slow. And then eventually that tailbone will tap and then come back to neutral. Perfect guys. From here, we're just gonna gently roll back up. We are almost done. We're just gonna finish with a little bit of a stretch to round it all off. So just interlace those hands out in front of you. We're going to pull the shoulder blades apart by pulling apart those hands and nod gently with that chin towards your chest. We can bring the hands down lower so we don't get too necky in this one. Taking a big inhale and exhale. Great, bring those hands back down towards the floor. Taking that left arm up towards the ceiling, going for a bit of a side lean here. So just reach up and then reach over. It's like we're rolling over a ball. 
So folding over like a beach ball or something. We're getting this beautiful stretch through our lats or through that side waist into the obliques. And then gently come back up through to centre and of course we'll take it to the other side. So reaching those fingertips up first and then going over that imaginary beach ball. So really rounding over through that waistline. And then come back through to centre and you are all done. So thank you so much for joining me and taking care of your neck. Come and visit this video whenever you're feeling a little bit tight or tense. It doesn't have to be an injury specific for the neck, but it's just a nice one to wind down with. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know how you got on in the comments below and I'll see you back here really soon. Bye.